All right, here we are, video number two. I haven't changed anything yet. I'm just kind of breaking at the 15 minute mark, taking a, a short break and then uh, continuing on. So right now um, we have the same same game that we just left off with. Uh, I'm gonna, I wanna be able to move this ball around forward, up and down, not just side to side. Uh, I think that opens up a lot of uh, opportunity. So go back to the start here so that not only can he just avoid the balls coming but he can maybe even go up and go around if there were say there were some um let's see if there were some of these say there was a, a row of them over here against the wall and there was a bucket up here and then there was maybe this was a, a reward thing or something so then you got that kind of 1942 game play where he can come out and come back in and grab that that item and then keep continuing on as the game continues kind of 1942 two-ish style so with that, um, we need to go back into our gameplay settings, uh, project settings, gameplay, come in here. And I think one of the things I'm going to have to do is come in and change this max speed for the character. So right now it's basically saying he has no speed in the Y direction. So let's go ahead and change that to 45 and he should have speed um, for both in both directions while it is playing. We can test this. And I'm just going to die the first time so I can reset this. Obviously, it's not saving my last use, but yep, so there it is. You can just kind of go, oh, hit it. I died. Okay, good. So that works kind of the way I wanted it to. It's got this kind of a uh, slide in, slide out. Let's see. Uh, let's see if I like the feel of that. Basically, what I'm trying to do is get my world environment set up, and if I don't like any of the feel of the play right now, eh, it's going to be a lot harder to change later. So, kind of get all my physics set up now. I don't want the player to be able to go that far up the screen either. I don't want them to be able to go off the screen. I'd like to somewhat control their their movement within the game. So, I think I'm going to first. I'll kill myself. Die. Making changes to the game while it's playing usually, well, sometimes, I won't say usually, sometimes will result in a crash. So I'm going to go ahead and save this too and go ahead and get that part taken out. And we'll go down to, where are we? Here. We'll go games. We'll say no name game and we'll just save it in here as uh, no name game. And we'll give it the bbdoc extension. And save. All right, now at least the game saved, and I'm going to start hitting Control S fairly frequently. Um, if you don't know what that does, uh, right here you can see Control S on the screen. If I hit Control S inside of the game, it'll do that function, which is save. So Control S saves. Do that frequently. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, so Control S frequently. Noted. All right, so to fix this kind of in game setting i need to go back up here again i need to pull this up i need to go gameplay and this is where i can drag these bars up and down to kind of control the bounds of my box and you can see when i did that it went from avoidance to custom um, so that's fine we're on a custom custom deal now uh, which is fine nothing wrong with that so now let's see if that will work without rebooting everything here it should So yeah, there's my limits now. You can see that I can't go any further than that. I can't go any further than that. So cool. That's kind of the bounds. And I can go all the way left, all the way right. And those are my bounds, perfect. And hitting any of those, none of that kills me. So that's perfect. I'll, I'll, the only way I can die is by hitting an object. Boom. Uh, but maybe, maybe just a little bit more to the back. Probably be acceptable. And again, I've rearranged this, so let me do iPhone 4 and refresh. That's the end on that, so actually let's pull that up a little. That's the top front, all right. Pull that up a little. some reason it's going real slow if I'm all the way against the back so this is one of those quirky things that you really got to test for I don't know why that is and if I hold the up key and try to go side to side up here it goes really slow so that's probably a friction Oops. that's probably a friction or some setting like that let's do let's look let's see what we got here let's try the world 
friction is 50, so let's change that to maybe 5. And then restart the whole thing. Nope, still doing it. So if that's the case, let's sometimes you gotta click OK and then refresh the game. Nope, still doing it. Alright, we'll get through it. Let's see. Do settings again. Pull it over here. Gameplay, advanced gameplay settings. And I'm gonna go ahead and pause it because I only get 15 minutes at a time. All right, well, for now, I'm um, still kind of doing it. I'm still doing exactly what it was doing, where it's slow on the bottom, but I think what, uh, the way I'm going to fix it, I can't figure out a setting in here. So maybe I'll post on the forums. They're very responsive. Uh, it's a good community. See if maybe I can figure out why it's, why it's doing that, and uh, if uh, maybe I'll come back and change it later. But right now, there's another thing I wanted to get to that I think is really going to fix it anyway, because at the end of the day, it's going to be a person using their finger, I think, to control this. I think I think that's what I'm kind of going for here. Is you can use your finger to drag the ball around, and uh, you know, well, so we'll play with that. For now, let's cancel out of this, and we'll get into setting that up to kind of see how it works. Um, so what I just went into here, I haven't explained this yet. This is the menu editor. So this is what the user, how their experience goes from start to finish with the game and everything in between. So when they start, it's going to be here. This will be kind of like the loading screen. It's where you can say, you know, made by, you know, Anet Labs or whatever your whatever your company name is or your personal name or, you know, yeah, whatever you want in there. But then it's going to load this up first thing. This will be the first interactive uh, page that the user will have. So this will be like play, um, push play to start, um, stuff like that. And go to the shop, coin shop, or select the character or, or you know, more information, stuff like that. And you can get from there, they can go to the shop. They can go to the info page, or they can go to start the game. Once they get in the start game, this is where they actually are playing the game. So for this one, for controls, this is what I was getting at. You can drop a joystick field on here, and it's a touch area. So basically, we can put the touch area, and we'll blow it up here. And basically, this is a touchpad on the screen. So it's kind of neat like in, in that respect that you can just kind of drop this on there and now you have touch control for your game. Uh, anywhere the user touches is where the character, it's going to direct the character to move. So kind of neat. Um, and I'll show you how that works now. We can actually see that live real time. So we'll click play again. And I can use my mouse to drag the character around. And this is just me touching on the screen. So a lot more fluid, a lot more dynamic. How we still have that problem? I was hoping that problem would go away. But when they touch the bottom, it still goes slow. And you can see with the finger, that might be a lot more. I'm not sure how that's going to work in a game with using actually using the finger. Hmm, interesting. Well, uh, we can test. So another thing we could try, um, so we see that, see them just dragging up, dragging down, it's kind of going relative to the mouse. So let's try, let's check out our control again. Go back to game field, click on the joystick touch area, and here we have a absolute or relative control style. Now let's see what the difference of that's gonna be. I'm not really sure, Oof. it's kind of freaking out. It's going way one way or the other. Definitely think the other way was the way to go. Hmm. Interesting. So I'm just playing with this. I, uh, I'm not familiar with it. I think the other way is definitely going to be the way we want to go about it. So go back here and we'll go to Absolute. And let's see what else we got. So that's it as far as controls on the joystick. So we're just going to have to see how that plays out. Um, I could drop a button and do a left or right on it so we can do an action. So you could say character move left, character move right, up, down. So you could build a little control pad um, on the bottom if you wanted, but I don't, uh, I don't know. Um, and you could add a little graphic to it. So you could say like you can make this little left arrow key and then you could just go left, right with the character. Could do that. Um, let's try left 
move character left and then we can duplicate this and put it over here maybe and say move character right and right now they're invisible we could add graphics to that and you know drop a little left or right arrow arrow on there and make it left or right but for now let's just go test it and see what that does so I saw it move just a brief second I'm gonna move it out of the way with this first and then I'm gonna go uh, and there's I'm clicking on the click over here and it drags it that way or I can use the touch and go this way I kind of like this touch I think that's gonna be the way to go with this game so okay that's uh, we're gonna leave it like that I'm gonna get rid of these buttons because I'm not gonna use those I just wanted to show that and other options are like shoot and fire and uh, jump but we're not gonna use any of that right now take somebody to pause the game pause the game might want that so we'll put pause in there we'll throw that up there come back and add a graphic for that later um, and then for labels so here's another interesting thing we'll go ahead and throw down a uh, score count on here and we'll say action uh, we'll just call it score amount and we'll leave it at that for now alignment center and we'll leave it stick to edge and we'll just use that for the score right now and uh, you'll see that let's see if they can see that yet check it and there's the score So now we got a score coming up. Pretty neat. We can move around. We got controls. We got enemies. We got a pause hidden pause button somewhere around up here that I added. It's not working. Maybe it has to actually be there for the pause button. Um, but anyway, yeah, you just get the gist of it. We've got a little bit of a game going here. So go ahead and stop this. All right, so that's uh, the basics. I guess we can go ahead and I'm going to start planning out some more of this. Uh, let's see, what can we do? So we got this, got our character. We need to start making some graphics for, um, I guess, we need to make points. We need to be able to score points. We need to start seeing what how the effects look, um, what kind of effects maybe we can add, some lights or some trails. Logic, maybe make these things start moving on the screen. Um, we could add, you know, fixed linear velocities to them. Um, yeah, make some friends, make them do some funky stuff, maybe make them move, and uh, maybe add some actions to actually get some, do some scoring, and uh, yeah, go through all that stuff. So, uh, so right now I think I'm going to go in. Uh, we're at about 13 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and stop it here in a second and I'm gonna make some graphics I'm gonna go through and just more basic graphics I'm, I think I'm gonna stick with this again I had no idea what I was gonna make going into this so but I'm thinking I'm gonna stick with the the basic kind of fuzzy circles and uh, I don't know they kind of look like color drops or, or something like that I'm starting to see color drops or rainbow drops or, or I don't know something in the future here but I'm gonna make some more of those some then we can add some in as actions and other stuff but I'm not going to make everybody watch me sit here and draw out simple graphics with fireworks. Um, I'm just going to make them and I'll explain anything that I need to when we come back. So that's it for now and uh, be back shortly.